we want to find the derivative of f of x equals inverse hyperbolic tangent of square root x. The first thing we need to recognize is that the given function is a composite function, so we'll have to apply the chain rule in order to find our derivative. But before applying the chain rule, we need to recognize the outer function and the inner function. In this case, notice how the outer function is the inverse hyperbolic tangent function, and the inner function is the square root function. So if we take a look at our derivative formulas, we'll have to use this derivative formula here that involves the inverse hyperbolic tangent function. Notice how the derivative formula already includes the chain rule where u is equal to the inner function and therefore the derivative with respect to x has two factors where the first factor is equal to the derivative of the outer function evaluated at the inner function and the second factor u prime is equal to the derivative of the inner function. So going back to our function, we need to recognize again that the inner function is equal to the square root of x, so we'll let this equal u. So if we let u equal the square root of x, we can now think of our function as inverse hyperbolic tangent of u. But notice how we'll also have to find u prime, which is a derivative of the inner function. To do this, let's first write this using rational exponents. Notice the exponent on the x is one, the index is two, so we can write this as x to the one half, and in this form, we can find u prime, which is a derivative of x to the one half with respect to x. So we'll apply the Powell rule here, so we're gonna multiply by one half, and then subtract one from the exponent. One half minus one is negative one half, which we can write as one over two x to the one half, or if we want, one over two square root x. Now let's go ahead and find our derivative, f prime of x is gonna be equal to the derivative of inverse hyperbolic tangent u, which is equal to one divided by the quantity one minus u squared, where again, u is equal to the square root of x, times u prime, which we found here, which is one divided by two square root x. So again, notice how we applied the chain rule here, where this first factor is equal to the derivative of the outer function evaluated at the inner function, and the second factor is equal to the derivative of the inner function. Let's go ahead and find this product, f prime of x is equal to, well, one times one is equal to one, and then for the denominator, Let's go ahead and put the two square root x first. Then we have a factor of one minus the square root of x squared, which would just be one minus x. So this would be our derivative function. Okay, I hope you found this explanation helpful.